to Srikanth Kondapali, who's a professor in Chinese studies at the uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University. He joins us now live from Delhi. Welcome to the program. Um, help us understand what is behind this visit. Uh, what exactly are China's intentions? Because as we're reporting, uh, Western leaders are saying that this is China's attempt to control the region, especially uh, the highly contentious South China Sea. Well, the uh, Foreign Minister Wang Yi's uh, seven-nation visit uh, with 20-person delegation uh, this March, uh, this May 30th, uh, is supposed to conclude a, a so-called common development mission, uh, which is, as you mentioned, uh, to train police officers, law enforcement uh, agencies, uh, marine plan for uh, fisheries, possibly a free trade agreement, uh, telecommunication with the uh, Huawei 5G or ZTE uh, telecommunication equipment uh, and a host of other uh, uh, things that China has up its sleeve uh, in this visit. But this is not the first visit. Uh, Wang Yi had a virtual meeting with the Pacific nations uh, last October. Uh, and before that, there was the, uh, the reports about Solomon si signing uh, an agreement for maintaining social order and protecting uh, the properties, et cetera, in these islands, uh, mm -hmm. Solomon specifically, but also for other countries, because there is, uh, 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 there was uh, initially, there was a problem with the uh, civil rights uh, within these islands. And uh, this has resulted in a lot of acrimony. Mm -hmm. For instance, in 2006, uh, uh, there was uh, the uh, Solomon Island uh, witnessed a lot of violent riots in the capital Honiara. Okay. Uh, and uh, it was rumored that there was a lot of money flowing from both Taiwan and China. Sri Kanth, uh, if you don't mind me interrupting, just to go back to my, my question, you know, what, what is behind this visit then? Is it, as Western countries are saying, China's aim there to control this region. I, I know you've set out uh, exactly what will be happening in that tour, but uh, help us understand what's behind it. Uh, two primary objectives for China in this. One is mm -hmm. to marginalize Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Second is to contest in its strategic competition with the United States, uh, compete with the United States in the region. Pacific Ocean is not far away from the indo pacom that the United States had established. Uh, and uh, if you look at the Chinese military operations in the recent times, they have crossed the Pashra Channel uh, south of Taiwan and uh, Miyako Straits uh, closer to the Okinawa base, and they're now transiting into the Pacific Ocean. So hold over the Pacific Islands uh, is essential for this contest with the United States. But we also see a lot of uh, Taiwan factor mm -hmm. because this agreement will also have to reiterate the one China principle, which basically means that Taiwan is part of China. So the nations here would be cajoled in this. Okay. Uh, as currently, Palau, Tuvalu, Kiribati, Marshall Islands, Nauru, they and, Sol uh, and others have uh, shifted. Uh, so thank their, you for explaining that. Uh, uh, just to really understand what will be China's uh, strategy here? Will it be different to the strategy that it's uh, employed, for example, in Africa or, or in other countries where it's, it's been developing its uh, Belt and Road Initiative project? Uh, there are about 80,000 overseas Chinese in these islands. And so China's strategy is to walk through them uh, as a major uh, constituency uh, to bank on. Uh, number one. Number two, uh, the Chinese flavor in these would be uh, investments uh, compared to many other countries. Uh, they have also shifted from granting aid to uh, uh, basically uh, providing uh, outright uh, loans, mm -hmm. uh, which basically have no transparency or MOUs not in public domain. So we also see a lot of the uh, Chinese approach to Africa mm -hmm. or South America would also be reflected in these uh, 10 Pacific nations, uh, 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 you know, uh, agenda. Interesting point. Chinese. No transparency and no MOUs. Uh, thank you so much for, for explaining everything so well for us. Uh, Srikanth Kondapali, appreciate your time and your thoughts. Thank you.